Good morning, Britain. Welcome to a Queen's Speech. In the past few years, the LGBTQIA community has had some triumphant wins and we have seen some incredible progress, finally. We can officially raise a glass at a gay wedding and trans visibility in the media has never been at such a high. But let's be honest, there's still a lot of work to do. Let's start with education. Please think of the children. Take a moment to think about the young ones who still don't see any representation or relatable role models in history, on television or in classrooms. Our education system and curriculum must mirror the changes in society and cater for all students, regardless of race, religion, gender identity or sexuality. What's more, we need to educate the future voices of Britain on how to combat the racism, sexism, religious intolerance and transphobia that we still see too frequently in our society. But we don't just need to educate, we need to legislate. Legislate against the eradication of our queer spaces and services, both physical and virtual, especially the female and trans ones. Legislate for the rights, safety and protection of all consenting sex workers. Legislate against the continuous spread of HIV after people are being turned down from the NHS PrEP trials. Without a national rollout of PrEP, our health system is letting our people down. We can stop HIV now. For many of us, it has been a battle to get here. For others, the war is just beginning. We must work to put an end to the shocking rates of global trans suicide and to help those in the 74 countries where it is still illegal to be gay, 36 of which are Commonwealth countries who are still under the reign of our British monarchy. Wake up, Britain. This is our time to rise up. Education, legislation, reparation. Long live our queens.